Okay, so this is going to be a video on how to use the electromagnetic generators. So, to be able to use them, you can't just place them down anywhere. So if you're trying to power your base, you can't just place it down next to your base. You have to make sure that there are hotspots. So as you can see, I found an electromagnetic power hotspot. To be able to find them, you need to use the power survey mode on your... Uh, multi tool I think it is. So yeah, you need a survey device. You can get this by, I think you can get it in the uh, uh, space anomaly. So once you've got this, uh, you just build it in your multi tool, equip it and switch it to the power survey mode. And when you're near a hotspot, it will ping and then you just follow its direction until you find that hotspot. There's multiple tiers. You can see the potential for my one is B. And it's once you've found it, it will analyze it and you'll, it'll ping it on your radar at the top so you can find it again. So once you've found your hotspot, you can then start to build your electromagnetic generators. Now, once you place it down, these things generate power constantly. So you don't need to worry about them turning off or whatever, they just they constantly generate power unlike the solar panels where you have to wait till this daytime. So what I like to do just to make sure that I've got enough power or lot without using too much, I like to place on multiple electromagnetic generators. Now each of them generate different amounts different amounts depending on like where you place it in that hot spot so you can see the field strength is 72 here but over here it might be a bit different yep it's 70 here and over here it is 67 so depending on where the hot spot is so the hot spot for me is like directly below me here so I've built three and then what you what I like to do you don't have to do this but I like to place some batteries next to them and connect them so toggle wiring connect that battery to that electromagnetic that battery to that one there you go so you can see it's night time and these things are still getting filled with power and then what I do is I connect the batteries together now most hotspots probably won't be next to your base so you have to go looking for them I did make a video on how to extend your base area because where you place your base computer there's only a certain area you can build out to before it um, stops you from building so I did make a video on how to build past that area so if you're not sure of how to do that go check that out so you can see my base is 839 you away so on my journey here I was, I was placing these pipes down you could, it doesn't have two pipes it's be whatever you want really I've been placing these pipes down so I can just have something to put cables onto so now I'm just gonna go down and just use them as like ways to connect everything together so now I'm just gonna go from pipe to pipe all the way back to my base now if you aren't sure if the cables getting power if the cables are red uh, then they aren't getting power but if they light up blue once you place them down like that then the power is fine the power is transmitting I'm gonna go further down into the ground now because I want to try and keep these cables hidden as much as possible there we go. Now, up until now, I've been using solar panels to power this base. This is a brand new base I've made of just a portal. And as you can see, it's just losing power. Yeah, it's just losing power constantly. Because solar panels only work during the day when, it's, when the sun's out. So, because of that electromagnetic generator, I don't actually need the solar panels anymore so I can just
get rid of these. I don't even need all of these um, batteries in. We can put as many batteries as you want if you want to be safe and not store up as much power as possible. So I'm just let me just place a battery just in front of here and then connect it. If I go to place a cable, so you can see there's no power in this base. But now, you can see it's going to start filling up. Time until charged, one minute, and this will con those electromagnetic generators constantly generate power, so you don't need to worry about them running out. They will just constantly generate, fill up a battery really quick, and power your entire base, basically. So yeah, that's how you use electromagnetic generators. I hope this was helpful. I know they can be a bit confusing if you don't know what you're doing, but once you get to know them, what they do, how they work, then you know they're very simple. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. And yeah, good luck on your builds.